Ergo, Mr. Felix White's theory is revealed for the base conjecture is this. Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretap. Bling bling. <laughs> Leave it to me. I feel faint. The wiretap. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the field call office. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm, so you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound. Bling. Correct, this is what. I see, very well, Mr. White, you may cross examine. <sighs> what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. It was beginning of September, two weeks before the murder. Hold it! Do you have proof? Sure. Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Uh, what? I had entered the Faye call offices. Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Yeah. Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Faye call offices. This was obvious in Mr. White's. And if I know Edgewards, He's already want to check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the pain call offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. Why did you tap me as phone? This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. We will go with the detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. That is when I saw this class like stand. Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so again it was made a less impression on me. That's a beauty thing. Sorry. Deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it! There's nothing there for me to press him on. Oh well, maybe it's very wonderful if I just left something out of him. It was beginning of September. <laughs> I, wish, uh, I don't have anything to attack him. What is he his phone? Uh oh, -uh, don't tell me I've run out of ammo. Just disk. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. White. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. The fought. Honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. White, are you giving up? Y yes, Your Honor. Phoenix! Hmm? Phoenix, over here! I know that voice. M Mia? Never give up, Phoenix! M M M Mia? Where, where am I? The waiting lobby? What happened? Oh, what? I lost the file. I was hallucinating. Uh, uh you're finally awake. God! <laughs> hey, hey, Phoenix! Gah? That's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. You are... Maya? Didn't you know the Fae women have strong physic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So, Maya is telling you Mia? That's right, I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. 
Now I want you to listen to me. Gosh, he has a uh, wait, uh, what's this one? I'm sorry. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. But you don't have much time, Phoenix. Don't listen. You've already won. Huh? You have that received in the court record, right? Um oh yeah, the one you wrote Maya on it. Phoenix, right wrote that, not me. So so what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's a regular seat. Looks like it's from a famous department store. One thousand. Wow, big spender. Item? Glass light stand. Date of purchase? September 4. <gasps> September 4? That's right, Phoenix. I bought it stand the day before I was killed. Whoa! No, what did Mr. Y say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. He seemed updated in the court record. Oh, he's such a good lawyer. He doesn't need to turn around the fucking receipt. <sighs> September 9, 1.16 p.m. This record, courtroom number one. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix White. Mr. Defendant was a... Uh, are you what, Mr. White? Yes, so, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then, let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there's nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on defending Mrs. White. Hmm. Your Honor! Please, give me one more chance. I promise you this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But, does Mr. Edwards has noted twice more or less finished? Mr. Edwards, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Wheelfire his last chance. Very well, well. You may begin your cross examination. The wiretap. It was beginning with a tab, the week before the murder. Oh. No! Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? <laughs> You're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The, the, the other side? The other? Would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm. Well. Uh, let's let that. And the date of purchase? Why, that's the day before the murder. You see? Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Pink Hall at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. Uh oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under those these circumstances. Uh, very well. Then that is all for the trial of Objection. Not so fast, Phoenix White. <sighs> But, no way he can warm his way off this one. Oh wait, I forgot, it's Edgeworth. There's a certain thread of logic to defend his claims. However, there's no concrete proof that Phoenix White is innocent. Ergo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix White is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm. Another inquiry? It doesn't need to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. It's bad. Object. Mr. White's guilty. It's obvious.